All right, so your phone should be looking like this when you jailbreak it. And then this is when it finishes. So you're going to leave that on the side. And this is when you just click jailbreak. You're going to get this little thing. Let that sit. So when we do jailbreak it, let me put my phone down. I just did so fresh um, factory restores on these devices. You're going to go to jailbreak or well, your Cydia. You want to update these first. Um, this does have an issue, so you want to do um, not the complete up upgrade. It's only for the 2Gs. You, uh, let's, let's look here. As you can see, it's going to be done. This is when you know. All you have to do is press jailbreak, and w once it gets to the screen, you can unplug it. I've had no issues with that at all. Alright, I'm going to have to put my Wi-Fi password in again. I memorized it and I still get it wrong. Alright, it's also going to be the same way for this as you can see it's on Turbo 1.3 by the bottom dock in the iPod logo. I'm going to go to see ya on this one. It's going to prepare the file system. I'm also going to do it on here. Get the password in. Alright. Now it's going to prepare the file system. Let me just go to here. And we'll cut to when it um, when it's finished and it goes to all studio. Well, when it closes. Alright. As you can see, we are now... We now have it... It has finished its thing. These do have SIM cards, so it's going to say... Waiting for activation. This one just froze on me. There we go. Alright, so this one you can do a complete upgrade on. Um, since the 2G is kind of old, it's going to have the HTTP error. You're going to have to do a essential upgrade first, and then install the um, patch, and then you should be fine. And then you can do uh, the complete upgrade. Just... As you can see, I'm unable to load. It's gonna go here. This one has, I guess, issue. Yep. No, no, these both have it. Okay. I guess we have to put the patch on both of them. So I'm just gonna put it on the uh, 3G, show you how to do it. Actually, no, no, no it's more respectively on. No, it's I'm gonna put that in like that. Let's do it on this one too. Basically, this all of Invox. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna say um, network air. You have to wait for this reload button to turn into a done button. I think it's no, it's my, probably it's just a 3.1.3 issue. It's easily be fixed. Um, hopefully, I do not lose all this recording data because this iPhone I'm recording on does have um, unexpected shutdown issues, which is fine because I do have it connected to a Anchor power bank, non not sponsored, but you know, pretty good. All right, now we have to wait for these. As you can see, it's going to say reloading data. It's probably going to find, you know, all the sources and all that that they have. This also does have a tuber fix, but you have to get another thing for it and you have to put an API key. Alright, it's going to... I usually sometimes... I'm going to press reload to show you what happens if you do press reload. It's just going to redo it again. So I'm going to come back when it's all finished. Okay, I just canceled this one. We're going to do a upgrade essential. So we can, uh, you know, upgrade what we need. 
This is what happens if you don't do um don't do it. It's just gonna do that. And you will have to wait either to it says restart springboard, press or there's a confirm button. As you can see this one this one did complete it. Just save time, we're gonna press upgrade central. Press confirm. So that one said close, it's gonna restart it. Open this up. And then we can the 3G and the um, iPhone 2 2G are like pretty beautiful devices. Same with the 3GS, but I want to replace the back because you know, as you can see, it's kind of faded on camera. But you know, yeah, some this is what happens sometimes. You're just, you're just have to say forcibly clear and then try it again if it does do that. See that one just it's mainly because the HTTP thing issue. So if it does happen here, we're just going to so press close. Let's try a complete upgrade. And okay, I guess we're doing it in essential. Let's see, force being clear, we're going to press ignore. Ignore. We are, uh, it's probably not what we should do. I'm just going to show you what happens if you do it. We're just going to install the repo. Probably fix all the issues we were having. All packages. See, we have plenty of them, but we're looking for the HTTP patch as I keep passing it. So we got this one. Press close on here. Now, this one did not fail. Uh, that's like, oh, yeah, we already have it on here. Come on. We're installed on both of these. Now it's going to turn into a, conf I think a dump button or a close button. It's basically when you know the reload button isn't a reload button anymore. You know, like my little uh, stand. Yeah, th there's a little issue with this, so I had to put like a can of soup on it just to hold it down. Press close on this one. Press close on this one. This one froze up, and these both did. It's just gonna restart Cydia. Open Cydia again. Uh, it's just activation stuff. Here, let me grab um let me grab these so we don't have to deal with them again. Just like eject them. Uh it's what it's what you ha have when the um thing you know, you install a patch, that's just the uh, issue with Cydia. Alright. Now, when we want to install iDroid, this is the third section of the video where you can learn how to install iDroid. Let me just pull up the um, the repo. I have it saved in a message. I think that's way better than having a script, I guess. <laughs> oh, I, I, it's somewhere. Trust me, I know what's at, hopefully. All right. All right, here's the repo. So we're right here. Press close. Complete upgrade. We're gonna do it on here. We'll do that, we're gonna. All right, this is the repo for iDroid, the working version. If you guys really want, you know. Let me just take my phone. Oh. That's right. Let me open it in Safari. Because I know I got it right. Oh, no, it's repo. Let's 
press confirm on this one this one still has to be updated it's just now this is what you'll see when you do install the patch it's going to fix everything up now we should talk about these sim cards though these are starting to become liquid gold in the uh iPhone market and stuff like that because you need these to um you need these to activate your phone and if you don't have it iTunes is going to display a message saying unable to activate but look at these these are two different versions I think this one this one came to 2G and this one came to 3G uh, this one had edge this one just had 3G as you can see I don't I don't know by any difference but I can tell you we have advanced as humans where these things are as tiny where if you lose them you you basically will have a hard time finding them <laughs> all right and now we're going to install the repo in here the the city of patch hopefully we can get this thing updated again it's just uh, essential press install Confirm. Remember to display network error. This one's just reloading data. Don't worry about these reds and the yellows. It means nothing. That's just an old repo. And that's just issues with the other repos that are you know outdated and all that. Or no longer work. Press return to Cydia. Uh, it's gonna be right here. This only, this only bootlace only works with iOS 2.1.3. It has issues with 4.1 or any any iOS 4 version. It legit will never install. It, the the um iDroid will never install. This will. I can show you that here. And now everything is set and ready to go for this one. Hopefully the upgrade went well. And now this one's reloading data. I think we should be fine now. You can just put these back in. See right that little issue. Alright. I'll also add other repos to here. The iOS 3 party. That's the only one I, that's the other one I know. That's really it. Cydia. All right, and then bootless will be on your home screen. You'd have to before installing iDroid, it's gonna check compatibility. No, this does have an issue with SpiritNet on this version on the 3G, but it does not have an issue with it on here on the 2G for some reason. It, it is hard to find an actual working jailbreak for um iOS 3 so that's why I'm providing you a spirit net because you don't even have to DFU your uh, iPhone but it does work on here I've had I do have a video I can just display now it's from TikTok it has 42,000 views on it second video that showing part two didn't do well I'm just gonna install it because we don't really need it on here I actually don't need it on here I'm gonna do it on here. It's a little laggy on the 2G. 3G is way better doing it because you know upgrade process. But this one's you know severely underclocked. Is that a smudge? Yes, yeah, just a smudge. All right. Let's press turn city. 
and then I'm going to show you another repo. I don't know if it's that city over there. Nope, there we go. This is um another repo. I'm just going to install in here because I do want to keep this on iOS 3. This one, I'm going to say the 3G by far is way, way faster on iOS 3. Then on iOS 4, it's super laggy on iOS 4. It takes too long compared to iOS 3 just to boot. And we're just going to cut to um, when everything's finished.